What's going on, man? A root luster. Uh, nothing much. We just pulled into uh, where we're planning on spending our day off, which is usually a Walmart. <laughs> so we're in this little area where there's a hotel that we're we're staying at, and we got a Walmart across the street, and like an Applebee's and a Red Robin and a Starbucks. Pretty much all you need for a, for a good day off. <laughs> when you guys uh, stay at a hotel, do you is it like all together, like one room, or we or usually. You- we, we get one room that we can all take turns showering in, mm. but um, we we still sleep on our vehicle. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be better than like sleeping next to a dude in, in a bed, I guess, you know. I'd rather yeah, sleep I mean, on the bus. There's probably some somebody that uh, – usually there's maybe two people that will decide to sleep in the hotel, but – Mm. I, I like my privacy, so I'd rather sleep in my bond. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I know when you were uh, you were telling me that uh, you're not uh, drinking anymore, not drinking as much. Is it uh, different spending a day off sober, you know? Or, I mean, do you – has anything yeah, changed? I, I'm pretty much – I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that I'm done drinking altogether. Um, I, was, I was contemplating it for a long time and just kind of, like, weighing the pros and cons and um, – it just there was just a lot of I think it got to the point in my life where the the pros of not drinking outweighed the the pros of drinking I guess yeah and and I was always a social drinker it's like I would drink because I'm kind of an introvert so when I'm especially being in a band it's like a, you know there's a lot of situations where you're you have to be around a lot of people and and be friendly and outgoing and and the, in, in the past the, the way that i was able to do that is just have a couple drinks and usually that drink would lead to more drinks and then you know <laughs> yeah absolutely from there so uh so it's kind of a, a challenge you know like being in a, like you know we do the meet and greet and then we do um we there's a lot of a lot of times where we're in in a large group of people where we have to be social and um, I'm just kind of learning how to do it without, without the lubricant, the lubrication of alcohol now. Yeah, man. Do you get tempted still? Or, I mean, are you, or do you crave it at all? Um, it was weird. Like for, I, I know that a lot of people when they, when they quit, I think it's more of a physical addiction. And I don't think I, I was like physically addicted to alcohol. I think it's mm-hmm. more, more of the, the social thing. So, um, I don't have. I don't really feel like a temptation or like, I don't see actually when I see like hard liquor and see people drinking it, it actually kind of like turns my stomach at this point Mm. because it's been, it's been a while. So I don't, I don't get cravings for it. Um, the, the one thing that I, I, I would say that I miss is just like, you know, when, if I look back on my life and like probably like nine out of 10 of the, you know, funnest moments of my life had, had alcohol involved somehow. <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's, that, that was like the hardest thing to say. All right. I can, I can, you know, I'm, st- I'm going to try to still have as much fun without it. And, um, no, it's great. Luckily, and I kind of did it, you know, it's like, I knew that I would have to have things to kind of replace that. So I've been, I've been microdosing cannabis because I'm a, I'm a, super lightweight i would i get totally paranoid if i if i have a little <laughs> bit too much so uh i i have a vape and i have some edibles that are it's kind of like mostly cbd with like a little bit of thc and, mm. and it's just enough to kind of like take the edge off or relax me or even even i, I can even use it as kind of like a social lubricant now so that's yeah, really that, been helping that's great man um, that's gonna be my next question is if, if you're doing that instead or, or if you were doing any other things like that yeah, that's what I'm doing, and it, and it's so much different. Like waking up the next day and not feeling that that hangover and that fog. Yeah. Um, and then my ba- just my baseline level of happiness has like risen. Like I think I'm a a much happier person. Um, I don't get depression nearly as much, and I just feel positive and more motivated, and and uh, I don't know, like being about a little over three months in now without a drink. I, I, I don't think I would trade this that for, you know, yeah, a couple hours of fun. 
Dude, that's so that's so awesome. Uh, can you tell the difference uh, playing on stage uh, sober? Yeah, I mean, it's like it's easy, like especially like because these songs aren't familiar as familiar as like playing, you know, when I was in El Nino, you know, playing the same songs for 15 years. It just becomes like muscle memory at a certain point. So I don't I don't have that yet with the Lions at the Gate songs. But so I'm always having to use my brain to remember like, okay, here comes this part and I got to put my fingers here. So <laughs> I think with the, with the mental clarity of, of not drinking, I think um, it's easier to, to, to remember those parts. And um, just, I think, I think my playing is overall improved from, from not drinking. Cause I would, I would drink a, you know, a drink or two before the show just to kind of loosen me up. But now I'm just doing it um, uh, all, all free, or free of alcohol. So yeah, that's great. I tried, I tried eating an edible before a show, <laughs> like a couple nights ago, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> was was like, that the yeah. Atlanta show when I when I went? Yeah, when I saw it you? was the Atlanta show. <laughs> awesome, man. That's funny. <laughs> but it's so, it's like so, there's so little THC in in the edibles that I eat, so it it only just kind of changes me a little bit. It's not like. I'm totally stoned or anything. Oh yeah, that yeah, that've been bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I didn't mean to jump into the conversation uh, so drastically, but man, it was it was great seeing you the other night. You know, we're talking about Atlanta, man. You guys yeah, killed it. Was, it. That was awesome. It was, thank you so much. Yeah, we're still just kind of like I still feel like we're just kind of like getting our legs and getting familiar with the songs on stage and everything. But uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, man. I mean, you guys. I mean, that it, it really was amazing. I'm, I'm telling you, man. It didn't seem like you guys were oh, brand man. new. I mean, I was looking at, I was constantly watching you guys, and I kept looking at the crowd. And you guys yeah. going back and forth just because everybody was so into it and happy. I mean, it yeah, was really, really good, man. You guys are solid, and that's not even your drummer, right? Didn't you have a fill-in drummer? Yeah, we have a we have a fill-in drummer. Um, yeah, we have a fill-in drummer. His name is Josh Quadra, and he was brought to us by our good friend that travels with us, Sean. Mm -hmm. And he's been killing it. He's he's a great drummer. He's a great guy to have with us. Um, not, you know, he's very responsible. He's a very hard worker. Um, so he's he's been doing really good while Ferns, Ferns had some... Uh, obligations and and i think he had to have some like a dental surgery or something like that but mm. fern's coming back on at in at the los angeles show so we'll be happy to have him back as well oh that's great um i i gotta talk about um uh, first of all my love of your merchandise you know i'm wearing your shirt you're wearing my shirt that's pretty funny yeah <laughs> <laughs> but dude i'm wearing the shorts that i bought uh, six pair i'm probably bragging Look at that. Oh yeah, you bought six pair of shorts. We're we it's uh, weird, right? <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I love gym shorts like with bands on it, man. I was going through my yeah. collection. I've got like Deftones, Live Vagony. Now you guys. Uh thank you. Yeah, we did uh I, I saw that we had the shorts like when I got on the tour and they they have been a big seller. I think we're already sold out of a couple sizes. Oh <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude, I, I I love it, man. I I was uh I was pretty happy to see that. What's the tour going with uh, Nina Strauss? I know you guys just started, right? I mean, you've only yeah. three three shows in. We're three shows in. Um, tomorrow's Brooklyn, and we're going all the way until July fourteenth, and the, that's the last show in New Orleans. Oh, cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great tour. They've been really good to us. Um, Josh, the drummer for Nita, uh, they're all also Nita's husband. Um, we've known him for a long time, so it's uh, there's there's a comfort and familiar uh, familiarity <laughs> yeah. of of uh, hanging with him every day as well. Oh yeah, dude, that's uh, is the set list set in stone? I mean, you guys playing the same set list every night? Yeah, we, uh, I think the night you saw us, we didn't have vultures on there, um, but we added that song. So it's pretty much set in stone. That's the way we usually do it. It's just like, um, just the order is is the order mm -hmm. until the end of the tour. I'm sure once we get more familiar with the songs and you know, get a couple more tours under our belt, then we'll be able to like you know change them up from night to night. Sometimes. Yeah, man. Um, my favorite 
right now current the, the song the songs you guys have released are so good and that drain i keep watching that video i appreciate uh, it thank you yeah, yeah do you like doing videos is that fun um yeah i mean it it's fun it's it's exhausting though like because it's like you have to like you know go full off go off full on i mean <laughs> <laughs> i got you yeah <laughs> you know and um and a lot of times it's like the whole day of doing that. Like, cause you could do it at a show for like an hour or two hours at the most, but, but a whole day of doing that, like, it's like, sometimes you just got to recover. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> from, know, it's, from it. so my, my buddy Mikey from Islander, they did a video, uh, in a, in a church kind of like yours, but there's, there's a little yeah. more backwoodsy, but did you guys film that like in the winter or summer? Cause Mikey did theirs in the summer and they were just telling me like how miserable it was just, just sweating to death, you know? Oh, it was, I, I think it was, um, it was in the winter, but it was in Los Angeles. So it wasn't too cold. Mm, that's good. And I think it was, I think we had to have, yeah, we had a, we had a heater in the, like the, it was kind of like a dressing room area. We had a heater in there, but in the area where we, we were actually shooting, there was, it, it was pretty cold. But you know we were moving around, so I think it was better that it was a little cold. Yeah, man. Yeah, that that's what I would want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you you guys, um, when we first did our interview, you were sending me songs that you've done, and these were maybe a couple years ago, right? I mean, have you guys been sending? Yeah. Did you guys record this during the pandemic? Yeah, it was it was uh right. Yeah, it was right in the middle of the beginning of the pa pandemic, and um. So it was, you know, when we were traveling when, to do the record, it was, it was uh, like there wasn't even a lot of people flying yet. Um, and every time we'd go out to eat or, you know, have to go out for something, it was, it was, yeah, it was a weird time. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sure any for anyone that's re recorded their record in the during the pandemic, you know, it's it's an experience that none of us have ever, you know, had before, and. For the whole world, really, you know, when you think about it, it's like, I don't think, I think there's a lot of um, deep, like, ramifications that going through that pandemic has had on, on the whole world that we haven't even seen yet. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. That's pretty scary. Yeah. And what was it, how hard was it sitting on this music before you releasing it? I mean, were you, like, itching to get it out, you know? Like, yeah, it was weird anyway. because... Yeah, it's like our. I mean, the record was recorded over a year ago, and we're we're finally releasing it now, and and that's probably the longest that uh, I've ever gone. I mean, usually I re I remember just like, all right, the release date is set, and and we still got all these parts to do, so it's always been like a a, a challenge and working on a deadline to to get the get material finished before the deadline, and then it's going to get released, and and um. Yeah, this time it's like we we had it in the bag for like over a year before releasing it. Um, yeah, that's it was weird because it's like you're you're you want it to come out, and then at the same time, halfway through that time, you're already starting to think about the next one. Yeah, I was gonna ask you that. Yeah, are you guys thinking about the next one now? You right? Yeah, I think we're we're pretty much working on a date that we're gonna we're gonna start recording the next one. Oh, that's so killer! How did you guys so, come up? This oh, you keep going. I'm sorry. Like since we've already released um five i think five songs already mm -hmm. five or six i'm not sure i don't i don't yeah. i think he did sure six exactly. yeah so it's like we'll probably release the album and then soon after that i would assume that we're going to start releasing songs for the for the new one mm -hmm. i like the way you guys release songs like that i think it uh it, 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 I, I tend to focus more on it when you just do one by one, kind of like instead of just doing the whole album at once, it's kind of overwhelming. Yeah. I like kind of the slow yeah. drip. I think it's really cool too. And I, and I think we'll probably continue to do it that way. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, I was wondering who came up with the, the name of the, of the album, the excuses we cannot make. That's, that's good, man. I like it. Yeah. I think it's a cool title. I'm not sure exactly who came up with it, but, um, I remember it just floating around and like, uh, group chats and stuff, and I was like, "Yeah, that's pretty cool." Yeah, man, I can't and, wait um, to. Yeah, yeah. We oh, I'm sorry. Come up with it. <laughs> no, no worries. I love the pre-order, man. I saw that, and I was pretty stoked. Yeah, yeah. We had a, a limited release pre-order or a limited 
edition cover pre-order and those those are sold out in like the first couple days i think oh wow that's that's incredible dude i'm really happy yeah we're super stoked with the the pre-order numbers and everything uh when you were at my house during the the during the interview before the interview started you were talking about that you were going to do a stream with uh machine head do the with rob do the burning red but yeah. you couldn't announce it but now it's out so yeah, we can, we can talk about, about it. it yeah like, yeah I, it was I still got the prop. <laughs> see, look at that. Hell yeah. yeah you signed it, man. <laughs> yep. What was that experience like? I mean, you just flew out there. Oh man. It was, um, it was, it definitely brought back so many memories. Like, uh, um, just cause probably about three weeks before going up there, I had, I had to brush up on all the songs. So I, so I put the, because not only did we do uh, the Burning Red, but we also did like four or five songs from Supercharger and and some covers. So it's like I definitely have my my work cut out for me. And um, just going back and the funny thing was like after all that time, it was like 20 years. I still had a lot of the muscle memory from playing those parts that I didn't even realize I had. Like mm-hmm. I would just kind of like my fingers would know to go where to go. And, and even though I hadn't played those songs in almost 20 years, it was, it was a lot of it started coming back to me. And, and I, um, not only, not only did my muscle memory come back, but a lot of the memories from playing those shows live and even writing those songs and recording those songs started, started to come up. So it was a very emotional experience. From the from just rehearsing the songs to to uh, going to Oakland to to rehearse them with Rob, and then at, uh, eventually playing them, it was uh, definitely brought brought me back down memory lane. Dude, that is amazing. I could just picture you guys like sitting around like talking about the old days. I mean, I would love you film yeah. that. You know, just like reminiscing. That's so cool. Yeah, we were talking about some. I mean, we had some funny stories, definitely, and some uh, memorable moments and. Uh, it was it was a blast. Uh, what song is your like favorite song to play from the old days or of that Burning Red album or Supercharger? Um, That's a great album too, man. I love that. Yeah, album. I liked playing Nothing Left, uh, no, the good. Blood, the Sweat, the Tears. Yeah. Um, and I had never played the Burning Red live, so that was pretty cool playing that. Mm. Like the, I mean, the actual the song itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's so, a deep track, man. Yeah, it's hard. What's it like playing first, like an uh, empty room? I mean, was there anybody that you had a sound guy? I mean, is it is it weird? Did um, make you nervous? <laughs> I was definitely I was definitely nervous, you know, because I don't think I'd ever done a stream like that. And then it's like, I think, I think when you have like a whole band with you, it's it 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 uh makes you less nervous because it's like you know you have all these all these other people that you're feeding off of, but just having like two people and playing to like drum tracks and stuff. It was like <laughs> definitely, definitely made me nervous, but um, yeah. at the same time, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I, I love it. That it's still on, on YouTube. I was watching it today. I, yeah, I love when awesome. bands stream back in the day, I mean, back in the day, like it's a long time ago, but it, during the pandemic, I, I actually enjoyed yeah. that, you know, just sit back and watch it in the comfort of your home, you know? Yeah. And, they, and, um, the uh electric happy hour they've been doing that they they were doing that the whole pandemic and i was i was pretty amazed that every week they would learn so many new songs like that's that's hard i I don't know for some musicians it's easy to to like retain all the all those uh finger positions and you know like arrangements for me it's like I have to like <laughs> drill it in for me to, to remember. It's work. So yeah, it's like for me, it's hard to remember. You know, like 20, 20 new songs a week. That would be like difficult. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> how they do it, man. That kind of reminds me of uh, Metallica. You know, when they're doing like different yeah. set lists all the time. Mm-hmm. I just don't know how they do it. That that's insane. They got more brain cells, I guess, and muscle memory. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something. <laughs> so you guys are playing in Denver tomorrow. You said. Oh, tomorrow uh, we're in uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Why did I say Denver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Where are you guys playing in Brooklyn? Um, Man, I, I can't remember the name of the venue. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I'm kind of like the kind of the guy on tour that 
that doesn't know, like I look at the day sheet and say, okay, that's where we are today. And that's where we are tomorrow. But the rest of it is like, uh, I kind of, I am where my feet are. I, I kind of <laughs> live in the moment. <laughs> yeah, man. That's <laughs> I'm not, my, I'm not that's looking awesome. at too, yeah, not, not looking too far ahead, but when I'm there, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the best role to have, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met, I met your bass player and he, uh, he started selling the merch. I was like, sweet. You know, you guys yeah. all work together. That was really cool. Yeah. It was really nice meeting him. He he did a really nice job on stage, man. He had great, yeah. uh, the whole band did, you know. I don't know oh, his right. name. What's his name? I, I can't remember his name. Steven. Steven. Yes. Yeah, Steven Brewer. Yeah, but the whole band's good. And uh, Sergio. Thank you so much. Is that his name, Sergio? The the I'm, I'm drawing blank right now. The other guitar player. Oh, Diego. Diego. Why am I saying Sergio? Yeah. I'm thinking Duff Tones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was tight too, man. It was really cool. Awesome. But, Hey man, thank you for uh, doing the Zoom. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I love, I love seeing you, man. I saw you oh, the other yeah. night. Now it's cool. I really yeah, appreciate you giving sure, me man. time, especially on your day off. You know. Oh, anytime, man. I mean, that that's the best day to do it. Actually, like it's hard. We have so much stuff to do on show days, so it's like kind of like now I'm relaxed and um, drinking some coffee. I'm at a Starbucks, like mm. in the back. Dude, um, probably gonna do some laundry. And then I think uh, Diego and I are going to watch a James Bond flick. <laughs> we're both big James Bond fans. Oh, that's cool. Which one are you going to watch? I'll have to check it out. Um, either Skyfall or the, the latest one. I can't remember the name. Yeah. No Time to Die, I think. Cool, man. But last night we were just like, after the show, we were like playing all the, the Bond music. All the... <laughs> You know, like every every um every movie has its song. Yeah. Like um View to a Kill, Live and Let Die. We were like listening to all the, the Bond songs last night in order. <laughs> That's so cool. You should have that like as your intro track. You know, we were walking on stage, have the Bond music. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys ever think of are you guys ever gonna do a cover song or is that in the works, maybe? Or do you um, guys not care? We we might. I mean, I I I think we're we're definitely not opposed to it. It's just like the the right cover song hasn't come our way yet. Mm -hmm. But and and it seems like something that kind of like magically happens, or like sometimes it's not like you can. I don't know. I feel like if you're like okay, let's pick a cover song. It's not gonna be as organic and as as. Uh, natural is like if one day you're, you're just sitting on the bus and a song comes up and you're like hey that would be cool if we covered this mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah dude <laughs> yeah it's so. one thing to cover it and there's another thing to put it on your album so, yeah more pressure i always think yeah. of rob rob flynn and how much he uh he didn't like or i'm joking how much he loves the sos you know message in a bottle yeah <laughs> i heard him in an interview <laughs> say he's like i'll never play that song live yeah yeah it's got to be a lot yeah he i don't think he uh I don't think he likes that song that much. <laughs> yeah. I've heard it in multiple <laughs> interviews. I always laugh. I love yeah. that cover, though. I always, I always crank it up on that one. Yeah, I do. I like it a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Rue, man, uh, this means a lot to me. Just uh, our friendship oh, sure, and man. hanging out, man. You guys, there's like a handful of people I've interviewed over the years that I, I keep in contact with that are yeah. I really like, and you guys are up there, man. Oh, man. Super appreciate kind. it. Likewise. Super cool. You, you guys like, remind me of we, Seven Dust. They're like, just super uh, kind. Oh, okay. Right on. Yeah, we toured with them um, plenty of times, and those are those are our boys. They're fucking awesome guys. Yeah, I love and them. um, yeah, any any time, and and we appreciate you know all that you've done for us as well, and and we're we're always happy to see you, and and, and you know have these interviews and everything yes. else we do together. Yeah, we gotta keep doing it, man. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Aru Luster, you're the man, dude. Thank you for being on the show. For sure, man. Thank you. All right, man. Take care, brother. All right, take care. See you, man. See you.